a dome car, looking out on snow-capped trees in the Rocky Mountains, while wine tasting with great people. This might just be the perfect winter train. We're taking this train through the Rocky Mountains in the wintertime all the way to Vancouver. We're starting in Jasper, Alberta. It's a national park. Constructed by the Canadian National Railway and built before road access to the park, the station was a focal point of community activity. It is still one of the most significant landmarks in the area thanks to its construction using field stones, giving it that small mountain town feel. Eventually, it was given the highest designation for a federal heritage building in Canada. And I should tell you that I'm traveling with my good friend, Will Edmund again. Let's do this. But before we board the train, let me tell you about the sponsor of this portion of the video, AG1 by Athletic Greens. Not only do they make this trip possible for me, but they also make a fantastic daily nutritional beverage. It comes with 75 superfoods, vitamins, probiotics, and adaptogens with energy supporting ingredients like vitamin B12 and performance and recovery support with superfoods and magnesium. Taking AG1 is easy. Eight ounces of water, one scoop of AG1, shake and enjoy. I've got my friend Will who's riding along today. He's going to try AG1 for the first time. Tell us what you think. Drum roll, please. Mm, that's good. Considering how healthy it is, it tastes much better than you think. It's very light too. Yeah, it's an effortless daily habit. To get started on your first purchase of AG1, go to athleticgreens.com slash downylive and get a free one year supply of vitamin D3 and K2 for immunity support and five travel packs. So thank you to Athletic Greens for making a great nutritional beverage and for supporting this portion of the video. Now let's go ride that train. That is the reason I booked this car, the dome car. It's gonna be spectacular. All right, let's board the train and head west through the Rocky Mountains. So these are the sleeper cabins. As you can see here, we're not in a sleeper cabin. We're in a sleeper berth. This whole double wide seat is mine. Will's out there just enjoying the fresh air before we leave. I'm facing backwards, but I don't plan on spending much time here anyways. Now we've got our seats, but we're gonna go down the train and go see what the park car looks like. So let me show you where I'll be. Let's head to the park car to watch us set off. A mimosa to start our journey, yes please. Yes, I will take a mimosa. Yeah, enjoy Thank it. Thank you very much. Cheers, Will. Cheers, my friend. This is the park car with a bar downstairs and a lounge area in the back, and up these stairs is the dome car. Uh, going through the Rocky Mountains, under the dome. That's what we came for. And right on time at 9.30 a.m., we're off. That's it, here we go. Already, looking back and watching the quaint town of Jasper fall away into the distance with the mountains behind, reminds me of why I came to ride this train in the first place. And immediately after leaving the station, we're rolling past these characters. Oh, what a start. We're still in the city limits. And so our journey through the snowy Rocky Mountains has begun. We are riding on the Via Rail Canadian, a train that started two and a half days ago in Toronto. And we've jumped on board for its final 24 hours on this route. But some would say the most beautiful section. This is one of my favorite rail views in the world looking out above the train and watching it snake through a wintry Canada, we're off to a great start. Now running along Moose Lake, but it's been fun. We've been chatting with everybody in the train. It's great. The passengers in the dome car today seem to be a mix of locals and tourists here to ride the train because the experience is much more enjoyable than flying. And this view is worth seeing at this time of year. Hey folks, there's our sister train beside us, train number two, going to Toronto. Awesome, there it goes. The dome really does allow 360 degree viewing. And sure, you never miss a moment. Whether it's a tunnel, a lake, or a mountain view. We are not here for the train. We're here for the views. And so far, it is not disappointing. Most of the lakes are frozen over, but occasionally we run along a river that is still flowing and the water is a vibrant turquoise thanks to the minerals from the glaciers above. So we just went along the start of the Fraser River and we're also at the highest point of the trip, which is 3,700 and some odd meters. So from here, 
It's all downhill to an elevation of five meters in Vancouver. But my favorite part of riding in the dome car is when we cross a bridge. Now, this is not a tourist train, but a year-round train that runs on tracks owned by the freight rail companies. They do accommodate a few things for passengers, such as slowing down the train at certain locations to make sure that everyone gets a chance to take a photo. Here, Martin has come upstairs to point out the highest mountain in the Canadian Rockies for us. We're all waiting to see the highest summit in Canada of Mount Robson. It's going to be just around this bend. If you look towards the back, oh, yeah. that is Mount Robson right there. 1,972 feet, just below 4,000 meters. We can see it. The yeah. top is a little clouded in today. Yeah. You might only get a quick peek through the trees, but don't worry, there are more incredible mountains around every corner. Now the train is actually slowing down at the moment because we're coming up to Pyramid Falls and this is something they want us to see. So it's very nice of them to slow down. All frozen at this time of year, but still nice. So Will is from Texas, never been this far north. What do you think of the train ride so far in the Rockies? It has been beautiful. I love seeing the mountains. I love meeting the people on board. I think the people on this train have been nicer than any of the trains I've taken in the States of before. So I'm really enjoying myself and I got Mike beside me. Now, as we continue west, we do eventually reach the edge of the Rocky Mountains. In fact, you can see it here as the valleys suddenly feel wider and the mountain peaks not quite as high. The other way to tell that we've left the Rocky Mountains is that the dome car has emptied. That's right. Today, since it's the last day of this train trip, instead of having breakfast and lunch, they just serve brunch between 9 and 1, and you go whenever you want. So, while everyone's eating, let me give you a quick tour of the train. Downstairs of the park car, we have the wonderful bar with fantastic Martin. It's good to see him again from an old video. This way is the lounge. It's where you find couches and comfortable seating. There is another dome car with some booth seating and tables with puzzles and games included. Some people might say that this green isn't their favorite. But you gotta admit, it has kind of like retro vibes to it. Now, speaking of other amenities on the train, I'm getting hungry, so let's head to the dining car. Instead of offering breakfast and lunch, today they're offering brunch, where you're welcome in the dining car anytime between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m and the menu offers a mix of breakfast and lunch options. Will and I have opted to eat around noon, and I ordered the chicken pot pie. Bon appetit. Honestly, the atmosphere in here is wonderful. White linen tablecloths, silver cutlery, and the wintry landscape rolling past. And I have to say, the food didn't disappoint either. Mm. Oh. That's really nice. Look at our view. I love a moving restaurant with a view. And to my pleasant surprise, there's dessert offered at brunch as well. I know it's just lunch, but they offered the brownie for dessert, so had to do it. Now this is when I spotted this growing ice cone. You see, a local farmer apparently has tapped into a natural spring, so the water sprays out of the ground and freezes once it lands, slowly growing into this ice water volcano. The sleeper cars have a number of different formats at different prices. This is the berth. That folds down to be a bed later tonight, and this will also be a bed. There's also the cabins. They have their own doors, bathrooms inside, and they're much larger. But what's nice is that it doesn't matter where you're sleeping because all sleeper passengers get access to the park cars. Since we had brunch, it went from snowing to raining. That means we're getting a little closer to the coast. As the snow slowly turns to rain, and the mountains get smaller and smaller. What? We grown. Grown? Yeah. 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 Grown? Yeah. 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 That's right, we're now in the Okanagan Valley, which is Canada's second largest wine region. And so, 
we're being treated to a wine tasting on board. So at 4 p.m., there is a wine tasting. Two whites, two red, the perfect way to pass the afternoon with our new friends. Cheers! It really is a good time on the train. And that's really the case. This has been a social atmosphere on board this train. So we have to look at it, smell it, then taste it. And through this whole wine tasting, we didn't even notice that the sun has set. How is it our train trips always turn into some sort of wine tasting experience? Because we're drunks and y'all know it. No, we're not. But this is good. This is fun. Thank you, Martin. Unexpected pleasant surprise. And we've just pulled in to the station in Kamloops, BC. I'd like to remind you, it's winter time. It's 4.45 p.m. and it's this dark. But we've had our wine tasting and now we just get to kill a little bit of time out here. Just enough time for Will and I to stretch our legs and get some fresh air. And our steps in for the first time today. Gotta get 10,000. That's right, we're gonna have to do, do our laps. For the next 12 hours, we'll be rolling through the dark of night. But luckily for us, we still have another activity. All right, what? Dinner. <laughs> As it says on the menu, bon appetit. Seated with some strangers, I ordered the chicken, Will got the tikka masala, and our new friends from Australia ordered the lamb. This looks great. <laughs> and of course, it also comes with dessert. That was great. It was so very fun company at dinner. It was a good laugh. With the evening coming to an end, Let's head back to the lounge for a nightcap. We made new friends on the train today, so we're gonna hang out and have a drink, and then I'll show you how they turn the berth into a bed. As fun as this is, eventually we have to call it a night. I'm actually really excited to see how my seat has been converted into a bed. Since we've been on the train, we haven't been back to our regular seats. No, we have Because we've just been enjoying back here in the park car. It's time for bed. <laughs> bed is quite big, it's quite wide. It does come with towels and a little shower kit with shampoo and soap and earplugs for sleeping next to possibly some snoring people, which might be me. Face cloths and this is great. The lower berth has a window, the top berth doesn't. So while I brush my teeth, here's the bathroom tour. Simple, clean, efficient, Nothing to report, really, which, with a bathroom, is a good thing. So let's do up our super secure curtain snaps, and here's what I think. There's tons of room in here. This is great. The sleeping berth is probably your best value for money because you get access to all of the parked cars, a great bed, and the price is a little bit lower. Plus, you get the social aspect of sitting with others during the day. It's my choice. And not enough hours later... We've arrived in Vancouver. I have your attention, please. On behalf of uh, your crew, I hope that you have a restful evening. Even though we're in the station, we could get off if we want to. We've arrived in Vancouver. But you're welcome to breakfast until 8 a.m. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Think we're going to get a table? Yes. All good. It's pretty busy this morning. Right. Which means, even though our train has stopped at Pacific Central Station already, we still have time for breakfast. Transcontinental breakfast for what used to be known as the transcontinental train. And suddenly, you realize your 24 hours is up. I'm now home in Vancouver. Home sweet home, Vancouver. Here we go. I came to see the Rocky Mountains, but I ended up making new friends. And I know it's easy to say that, oh, you've made new friends, but we're here in Whistler. We're still hanging out. That's Will. <laughs> His subscribe button's popping up right now, as is mine. Welcome to Downey Live if you're new here. And as I always say, I don't know where I'm going next, but I know I want you there with me.